fully don't mind you asking and I'm happy to answer based on my knowledge. So it was done through a urine sample because our son is only nine months. We had to take one of those sample bags, tape it to him, wait for him to pee. They prefer first morning urine. So we were trying to do that the best to the best of our ability. We poured it into a sample cup, took it straight to the lab. The lab put it on ice, sent it to another lab. And that lab was in Boston. I guess that's one of the only labs that does it in the country. Anybody else can correct me on that, but that's what I was. We just wait because they needed to have enough samples in order to test. It takes so long. It's not just like a simple blood test that they run every couple of days. Even it's, it takes a while. What they're looking for are GAGs, which stands for let me see if I can say this right. Glycosaminoglycans, they call them GAGs, GAGs for short. And basically they're looking for elevated levels of that in the urine. And if there's an elevated level that can be indicative of certain lysosomal storage diseases and um, MPS, which is San Filippo syndrome. This is kind of the first line test that they can do. And if there were elevated levels, sometimes that's enough to prove by itself that that's what's going on. And they would do blood tests, genetic testing, all of that. Our doctor said that as long as the levels looked good, we probably wouldn't do any further testing. I don't know if we'll go the genetic testing route. It's really going to depend on what this says. Genetic testing is expensive and I just don't know if we can afford that. However, I don't know if my peace of mind cannot afford it. So that's what they did. First thing they do because it's the most non-invasive and then they can do a blood test and then they can do genetic testing and that's how they would completely confirm it. I, even if there's not elevated gag levels in the urine necessarily mean that the person doesn't have SF, but it's a pretty good indicator. That's what I know. That's all I know. And we're still waiting for the results. So I just wanted to respond in case anybody else was curious.